morning, world. Say good morning. Yeah. Oh, you're in a little bit. Nana can stand up in his crib. So I'm going to be taking you guys along. Along. It's just literally. <laughs> you want to be in it too? Um, Just showing you how I do cloth diapering. It's laundry day. Every day is laundry day. So let's go. I pre-treat all of the diapers. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if you can see this. My very clean kitchen. I had to clean in a sec. But that is our portable washing machine. You've seen it in the last cloth diapering video I did. I'm just going to throw all of the diapers in there. So we use the pocket diapers. Here's the diaper. Um, I just rinse them out and then <clears throat> here's the pad that you insert in the back. So we're just going to throw all of those in. Once I throw all of those in, got smart from the last video. Here's my bucket. I'm going to put it in the sink and then just bail it in there. Or bail the water into there. I just finished bailing all of the water. This is the detergent I use if you are wondering. It's the doTERRA On Guard. I don't know if it's gonna focus in on that, but yeah. So you're just gonna, <clears throat> you don't even have to add that much. My throat's dry. I usually don't do this much talking in the morning, but add a little bit into the washing machine. We're just gonna set it for 15. That's as long as it goes. So a big step up since our last thing. Um, this camera is weird. We got a drying rack. We used to hang them from the ceiling in here. If you remember that, but yeah. Little dude likes to stand on furniture now. Say what up. <laughs> He's so cute. I mentioned this hello my name is Ashley and a cloth diaper but what I was gonna say um it's now 6 30 in the morning nugget has woken me up hold on with this camera nugget woke me up around like five but I was just trying to lay in the bed with him but you can't get a baby just to stay asleep they gonna get up when they gonna get up anyway so the uh, washer stopped we're going to unload it put the covers on our uh, clothing rack and then we're gonna put the pads in the dryer. The dryer goes for five minutes so um, that's another review if you guys have seen the first video so let's do that. So for those curious that's what the water looks like. Yucky yucky. And another update so I'm gonna be including I guess some updates and tips. These are the you can see that these are um, the five layer bamboo ones I do have a few white ones but um everything is on Amazon if you got questions the five layer bamboo pads absorb a lot more especially as baby is growing uh, nugget is seven months now as I'm filming this trying to get into everything yeah I see you always stops in his tracks and then here's our rack so I just Loaded all of those up. 4, 8, 12, 16. 16 diapers he went through. Um, we used, I used to do it in the morning. It is the morning today because we did not do it yesterday. So I would say you can kind of... What you doing, Nana? You can probably go a day or so. Maybe I'd say at least one day. You want the napkins? He wants to grab the napkins. I would say you can probably go at least a one day missing diapers, but you don't want to go too long because they are soiled and you don't want the house to stink. So we're going to go ahead, put the top protecting thing on so the, they don't fly out as they spin. 
we're going to start that, but also why I got smart since the last video, uh, this the update, we're going to, I brought the washer in here so we can drain it right into the sink. Let me slide this rat in the other room. It's nice when you're done because then it, it just folds up, but we're going to turn the fan on so those can start to dry. Um, and then let's go ahead and take this hose out and just put the hose into the sink. What I was going to say, it's not recommended to do both at the same time, but I've been using this every single day for the last uh, seven-ish months because we started probably a month in cloth diapering once we ran out of all of his regular diapers. <laughs> once we ran out of all of his regular diapers that were uh, graciously given to us uh, for the baby shower, we went straight to cloth diapering. Dude is... Um crawling around like crazy. So we're gonna take this out, and I got my bucket here, so now I just have to bail it once. The bucket's um, underneath this hose. So let's go ahead, we're gonna hit start, and why I've got this ready, the water shoots right out, even if you don't hit drain. It's just gotta do its thing. But, all the pads are spinning, so it's gonna air dry it. But then I always get just a little bit of water. Over the sink, we're going to actually hit the middle button, which is drain. And then we can start to drain. And save your back. Look at you. Yeah? He's in his little walk right now. Alright, so anyway, that's draining. And I'll be right back after that's done. So, as you can see, we got the fan going. This is how it air dries. Um, and this Amazon rack can hold a lot, so um, just put the pads on. They're usually, I got them at the bottom there so you can see, but there we go. 16 diapers he went through. Um, another thing I wanted to mention. Another pro tip, there's these things. They're bamboo liners, so they're perforated. I'm not going to unroll it all the way, but it's the same length of the diaper. So if you do plan on cloth diapering, and when your baby does start solids, you can lay these on top. Then you um, make sure your diaper is stuffed, and you just clip it onto baby. Um, but that helps if you need to fling the solids into the toilet or, or the garbage or have wherever. You know, he's, he's zooming. It's him. <laughs> but um that helps too and our toilet this is this is apartment living our toilet is very stupid um i got a bidet and it does not fit because i was trying to have a home birth um uh, yada yada and then they replaced my regular porcelain seat with a plastic one well because this, this is an older apartment yada yada um and the bidet does not fit the stupid plastic seat. The plastic seat is actually uncomfortable, too. Um, stop being cheap apartments uh, if you want happy tenants. But anyway, I would say a bidet would help um, also with just cleaning diapers. So right now I just do them in the sink. I rinse them by hand, fling whatever is in the toilet, yada, yada. Uh, I think that's it. I wants to play with this diaper, so he just ripped one off. <laughs> um... Lastly, I guess, is this. I have a portable dryer. Um, I guess an apartment dryer. It's not whatever. I don't know. I forget what you call it. But it's a small, compact dryer. So now I can actually wash everyone's clothes with the washing machine, and then I can put them straight into the dryer. There is a vent. Let me put this diaper back on. Little dude. Hey. You got to go not play with your underwear. <laughs> there is a vent tube and I I just stuck it up behind it. So the house gets really warm so it's nice in the winter. So if you use coin laundry like our apartment has, that was the one main thing, um, having a baby and washing it in a communal washer and dryer. I did not want to do that. So graciously one of our friends gave us that portable dryer or washer and then I actually found you can buy dryers on Amazon so um, a little bit of an investment but I'm sure you can make money so from it from selling it so we'll probably sell it when we get another apartment or a house or wherever the world takes us but I don't want to talk you guys' ear off. I hope this was helpful information. And if you are considering the cloth diaper, you can do it at any time. You don't have to wait. Um, the cloth diapers have 
really changed over time. My mom used a cloth diaper, and so she was telling me they used to do it with a pin. So obviously with the snaps, it's a lot safer. Um, and the snaps, they can snap because babies have very little waist when they're first born, the newborns. Um, but they can snap pretty tight. So you can start at newborn. You don't have to wait for the baby to be a certain age to cloth diaper. And as long as they're still fitting in it, then you're good. So hope this video was informal. Like and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to try to post more. I really want to get back into content and all the good things and really share some rich stuff for you guys. So I'll see you later. Bye.